the mountain is waking up under a wet blanket. What seems like a mirage pressed into a cliff is the sacred tiger's nest, sitting 10,000 feet above sea level. The second Buddha, Padmasambhava, is said to have flown here on a tigress. But we shall hike to it. This is one of the main sites where he manifested. Nefu Grimpleche is also believed to be a manifestation of a great teacher, or Tulka from the 16th century, who was prophesied. So you were identified as a young child as a reincarnate. When I was two years old, I remember the past life families called by the name. Hey, Linda, do you remember me, you know? So I said, I want to become a monk. And I don't know why I said that. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, four years, I was studying in a monk school. And he passed every past life test they gave him. So my father and my uncle came. They bowed to me and says, oh, you are incarnated. And I'm like, I was nine years old then. Many people are observing you. I realized my responsibility much later. As an adult, Nefud Rinpoche established a school for underprivileged children. And he's rebuilding the 16th century monastery he identified at age four was his. As a true they are supposed to have extraordinary mind. So they borrow a normal vehicle, normal body, and they have this purpose in life, living unconditionally. How do you feel about borrowing someone's body and <laughs> with well, that extraordinary <laughs> mind of yours? And that body he borrowed to serve others needed a kidney transplant. 87 people signed up to be the donor. Oh, and this is, well, we got challenges here. I'm praying for two of us that we won't fall. <laughs> it worked. Thanks for that. Come, please. I have some other things I want you to work on, too. <laughs> so when you translated this into English, reincarnation, it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't translate properly. Uh, the right word is called manifestation. Now rhododendrons manifest for a boost. Olden days, when people hike, when they are tired, they use this as an energy bar. And ah, the original roadie. Yes, it's sweet. It's so good. People, you know, also it I helps. need a whole tree to get the tiger's nest. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an energy bar. But you know what you I have in my pocket? Oh, wow. There's a magic. It's a prayer bit. You have them on your hands. Yeah, but mine is more sp holier than yours. <laughs> because okay. this, this is not an ornament. This is really a All right, make mine as holy as yours. Make it holy yourself. OK, well. This one, but I'll just say a little prayers. <sighs> I will not make this holy, but I'll make yourself holy okay. by walking harder <laughs> and okay. breathing more. My prayers and practice coming up. <laughs> you are precious. You are a Rinpoche or Tulku if you are making differences in other people's life. And all along the way, people stopped a holy man. Buddha's teaching is great unconditional compassion with great awareness. And being aware that we all have healing energy flowing through us for a second wind. Linda, come on, you can do it. Bigger steps. Oh my God, I just can't catch that monk. St. Nefu Grimpleche took a shortcut, leaving me to follow the prayer flags. Look at all the prayers. Yep. We always talk about the lot of compassion. This mantra says, Om Mani Padme Hum. The prayer that brings it all home. Can Beautiful, you see that? yes. Yeah. Whenever you see the side of the temple, we always put our hands together and make our wish. We're almost there now, good. Yes. And we have a little dog here. <laughs> this dog has been with us from the start, along with these guys. is hey! gonna be a director next. Good, action. Where's my cameraman? <laughs> there he is. Mr. Matt, am I capturing you? I'm capturing you. Good, we're capturing each other. <laughs> we are really tapping in. The vision. So now we are almost there. But when you go to the tiger's nest, you make such wish May I become kinder? May I become wiser? May I be able to see the suffering of others? So our cameras can come this far to the sacred site. From 8th century till today, thousands of years, it's been always a source of great wisdom, great blessing. You're a great teacher. Oh, I'm humbled. Thank you very much for <laughs> saying that. I really like being in Bhutan. Your past life is from Bhutan. Or oh, maybe you can sense it. Maybe we were brother and sister. Absolutely. Yeah. See, let's see how much chili you can eat. <laughs> we talk about the everlasting happiness when you have great awareness of body, speech, and the mind. Inner awareness that brings you the greater happiness. So Nefud Rinpoche stayed to pray. And on our way down the mountain, Ian and I hung prayer flags that he made at the Amankora. Prayer for our family. I'm tapping in.